Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Punching Babies. No, I'm, I'm serious, that's what it's called. It's for two players, and you're basically going to be getting a deck of cards. In the game Punching Babies, you'll draw a certain amount of cards, and then you're gonna go back and forth playing cards against each other. You don't draw cards from the deck unless you're prompted to. You're gonna be doing damage back and forth to each other, hitting up combos, defending and or avoiding different attacks. There's special cards that pop up, and you're gonna go in and out of hugs, because that's what babies do when they fight each other. You're not actually punching babies in this game, you are babies who like to punch. So I guess that makes the theme a little different, right? Right. But nonetheless, it's a basic stamina type of game, which you're not trying to have as many cards in your hand as possible, because if you have the most cards in your hand, or if you continue to control the most cards in your hand, then that means you're going to have more abilities to punch your baby opponent. Now, if you win, it's going to be because you did the most damage to your opponent, unless you took the most damage, then you lose. That's the basic idea of the game. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like down below, and then uh, how to play around two. So here we have punching babies and what you're going to get in the game. Basically, you're going to be getting a box, the rule book, and these cards here. And to start the game off, you're playing two players. So you get one character over here, one character over here with 10 cards apiece from this chef shuffle deck of cards. Then I'll go ahead and leave this card deck aside because you will likely be using it throughout the game. Afterwards, players are going to simply take turns. And the first player, was the one that gets to go, is the one who plays a card first. So let's go ahead and start with this player here. This is his hand of cards, and as you see, there's specials, there's attacks, and there's defensive cards. On your turn, you can only play attack or specials, but on your opponent's turn is when you play defensive cards. So we'll go ahead and start. Let's play an uppercut against our opponent. Uppercut says it deals four damage and it cannot be blocked or guarded. If unavoided, opponent discards one card. So this player is then gonna go ahead and look in his hand of cards and he happens to have a dodge. So this card can be dodged. It avoids one attack and this has one attack on it. So this card gets discarded and this player gets to draw a card. No matter what, regardless of whether or not your attack hits or your dodge lands, you're gonna be drawing a card as long as it says to draw a card. There are certain cards that do differ in that statement. Uh, next turn is going to be this guy over here, and he's going to look through his hand here, and he's going to play a 1-2 punch, in which counts as two attacks. So first it's a jab that does a damage, and then second it's a cross punch that does two damage. So he's going to go ahead and look, he's got a guard, he's got a step back, and he's got a block. And in this case, if he plays a step back, it'll actually avoid all the attacks on the cards, so the first and second attack. So this is probably a good card to play against this one. In which case this player will draw a card, and then these two will get discarded. Then it's not gonna be this player's turn. He's gotta look at his hand again. He's got a lot of attacks, luckily. And he could play this elbow, but it's only available when hugging. And hugging is a specific stance in the game, basically. There are certain cards that will take you in and out of hugs. And when you're in a hug, you're only able to do either uh, half damage when it comes down to even numbers and no damage when it comes to odd numbers. So let's go ahead and just play this cross punch. It does two damage and it can be played immediately after a jab. So if I played a jab first, I could then play this one, provided the jab was uh, perfectly landed, which means that the jab took dealt all the damage you needed to deal. And if I do, it automatically lands perfectly as well. But we're just gonna play it as a normal cross punch for two damage, in which case we'll go ahead and play a guard card on that, which reduces it by one. So thusly, this does one damage to the opponent and that per a person gets to draw a card. So this player will draw this one card here. And now it is this player's turn again. He will go ahead and play, uh, let's see, a hug. So he'll play a hug card. That means that they, we are now in a hug, in which case now only cards of very specific types can be played. So for instance, the elbow card can be played only while hugging. It does three damage. And if it's, it has a combo after you land a headbutt, this would do five damage instead. This player is now gonna look and he's gonna go ahead and step back from that attack. Cards that can put you in hugs are also cards that can take you out of them, and then there are specific cards that just say otherwise regarding hugs uh, and how they work. But the game's basically gonna go like that, going back and forth. Players are gonna be playing cards against each other to do damage. Ah, uh, deal four damage. If I land it perfectly, uh, deal an extra two. And this player says, no, I'm gonna dodge that attack, and I'm gonna draw a card instead. And as you can see, hands are slowly whittled down in this game. Eventually, you're gonna have no cards available to you. So let's go ahead and just say that this player had only these cards left which are basically just defensive cards, and this player had these cards left, in which case this player could keep playing cards on the opponent. I'll attack and do a card and draw a card. I will defend and draw a card. And uh, basically, eventually, this player is gonna run out of things to do, do three damage, and if any damage is dealt, uh, he draws a card. So in this case, no damage will be dealt because he's dodging it, and this player will go ahead and draw a card. And now, he's just gonna start wailing on him, right? Deal a damage, draw a card, reduce the attack. 
Uh, he can't play anything. All he's got is a hug card. He can put us back into a hug, but that doesn't mean anything because this player can keep going, can only be played while hugging, so on and so forth, until eventually the game is going to end and players can't do anything at all. And based on the amount of damage that is dealt to the players is going to determine the winner. Whoever takes the most damage loses, and whoever deals the most damage wins. Okay, let's come up and talk about punching babies. Okay, so what do I say about punching babies? Well, first of all, I think it's a two-player game, but I don't see why you couldn't play with more players and just have players choose to attack who they want to attack back and forth. I mainly play this as a two-player game, which I think will give you enough of an idea of how it plays and how it functions with more players anyway. But the idea is your hand is stamina, you want to keep the cards in your hand as long as possible and use them for the most appropriate reasons. Players are going to be choosing which cards to use and when to try and trick their opponents to make them use their best blocks and dodges and that kind of of stuff when they don't necessarily need to or shouldn't because maybe something else is coming out of the woodwork that they're not prepared for. There's combo cards like the one-two punch and then the uppercuts and whatnot based on how you use your cards, how you can do additional damage, and damage is key in this game. You play up to two best two out of three or there's other ways to play maybe up to 100 damage points in which case you can choose the method of how you want to play the game but it virtually plays out the same way you're drawing your 10 cards you play back and forth back and forth back and forth most damage loser least damage winner right uh it's a pretty simplistic game right you can obviously tell that the game is basically drawing and do a little bit of take that action. It reminds me of games like martial arts and the MMA fighting card game. Those games have like different stances and whatnot. They're a little more complex in nature. And this one's a little more straightforward. The only stance in this game is going to be the hugs and hugs is going to do a little bit of a different change to the way the game is played and how you want to use your cards and when you want to use them. But uh, it's not as like, it's not like you're on the ground or you're like in a hold or you're like upside down and all these other crazy things with the MMA one. This was very, very simple. And so because of that, the game is going to be for younger audiences. I imagine this is a quick filler game that you'll take out playing anywhere. You could play it on a plane. You could play it on a train. You could play it on a car, in a car. It's really straightforward dropping them down. The only thing I would say is you probably want to have something to write down how much damage is being dealt. Maybe a pen and a piece of paper, or you could even use coins or something like that. Uh, that was not included in the game. Another thing is when you get into a hug sometimes it's hard to remember how which one it goes back and forth with so if you actually write that down as well or maybe even have like a hug token to symbolize whether you've been in a hug or not those are my only two little complaints with the game now moreover if you're into something that's a little more thick and a little more strategic this is just on the very light end of the spectrum in my opinion and so because of that you're probably going to uh, be seeing this game for your kids or a uh, yeah, younger teen audience. I imagine the theme of babies punching each other is kind of cute. It's not as dark as the game Lunch Money, which is very dark, and I actually really like that game. Oddly enough, I guess people might be like, why? But I, I just enjoy it. This one has a nice take that combative nature, and you do feel like you're kind of in this combative theme of the game now whether you like that theme or not is going to be up to you for me it's it's fine a little a little dark but a little funny at the same time nothing too offensive in the cards or how they function or anything like that but i can see the humor involved and i can see how people might get offended as well uh overall it's a fun little card game for younger audiences uh, there's a little bit of tri tri tricky tactics and strategies that you can utilize but I'd say that the replayability is limited due to the fact that the game plays very, very similar every time you play, just based on the cards you get. Um, some people can make an argument that it, it does have a lot of replayability based on the 10 cards you pick every time, but nevertheless, the cards do the same thing. So uh, in terms of that, I would imagine it's, it's going to be for younger kids and or for, for teens. Overall, Punching Babies is a solid little take that style back and forth two player card game, which I think you can play more players without a problem. I, I suggest you take a look at down below this sounds like something that'd be interesting for you in the description, which will be, I think, on Kickstarter. <laughs>